Oh, oh wait, it's nice. Supposed to be logs or... Was yeah, it's like supposed to be the bad thing or the hot time. thing? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Why did I have to go last on this one? Okay, Brett, It's where okay, going? I've gotten two pluses, so if you guys uh, want to go the, uh... do your thing. Well, we'll go to Milo, obviously. You know she said not to engage with her content. Yeah. You order I'm gonna go to the map, man. Guy, though, really? right? Milo's a they. It's oh. nothing but they pronouns. Okay, okay. It's, that makes sense. Um, you order over the campfire, desperately hoping that some of your zany friends will pull you off one of their shenanigans. What's up, loser? Hey, Brett, come over here and do poetry with us. I don't want to be the worst at this. <laughs> Damn. Ow. You fucked, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you found the shenanigans. Yeah, I, think, I think you're good at poetry. You join Milo, Hex, and Aravi around the fire. They're all writing in cute little notebooks. Aravi's notebook does look pretty blood-soaked, though. Huh. I always tried to convince me to write poetry again. I said I can watch the new axe reaping off a monster if I write a good poem. It's true, really. I'm just trying to help a dear friend access her inner emotions through the majesty of poetic word. DJ Hex up in the pipes! <laughs> Voice lines. <laughs> because it's fun. Because I'm awesome at it. My poems have at least two or three emotions in them, at least. Eh? Yeah. Huh? Super confused. How are you going to judge if I write a good poem or not? What metrics are you using? How do I get the most points? How do I win? That's not poetry. You gotta feel it in your bones. How... I take it all that emotion and use it to write the following poem. Avocado rot, don't tell me your dreams are dead. Be your own dream, fruit. <laughs> what? <laughs> that should be a clarification for me. <laughs> I did it in haiku form. What? By collecting the dreams of fruit? Oh, blockhead. It's a metaphor. Uh, yeah, I was right. They're trying to say that all poems should be about avocados. Like my latest poem, Guacamole Emotions. <laughs> You're both hopeless, and frankly, I'm heartbroken that my unparalleled aesthetics are wasted on YouTube. Let me set a win condition for this poem, so like it or not, this is a competition. Everything is a competition, our Robbie. Just think about it. I don't know crying. People do it all the time. It's <coughs> not a competition. It's about the emotion. Yes, sucker. Crying is the competition to see who can squeeze the most water out of their eyes. Get it together, Milo. Um, okay. Brett. Are you gonna do this, Brett? You better pick something with creativity or smarts. Uh, this generally isn't a test. It's a choose who you want to gain the affection of. This is how you pivot, usually. Unless you just get an event that happens to have two We'll people. go with the first one. Huh? Oh, wait, hey. really? The way to win at poetry is by losing at life? <laughs> Boy, there's going to be at least some poets that were famous and successful. Womp womp. Like, Emily Dickinson? I remember reaping her. The whole time she just complained to me about how there were so few hot girls in her town that she decided to never leave her room. She wrote the most lovely did. poem about me, though. I gave her an extra few years just for that. Hmm? But Edgar Allan Poe, he was super famous. Uh, he liked children. <laughs> you know that he married his cousin, <laughs> right? And that's basically everyone. And that basically everyone thought he was insane. He was so rude to me on his deathbed that I made the whole ordeal one of the most painful deaths I've ever delivered. No regrets, though. I've been going with this whole poetry thing all wrong. Apparently, I should be trying to live my like shit, and then I'll be a poetry champion. <laughs> now that I finally get poetry, where should <sighs> I start? <laughs> Fall in love with someone who's married and develop an opium addiction. Fuck yeah! Nice. Should we do an opium? Uh, Ravi is, and uh, Hex was being sarcastic, but it's too late. For a happily married opium dealer. That's odd. Oscar Wilde, you would not believe what he said to me right before I took his soul. And Milo regales you with dead poets. Morbid, but kind of romantic. You just have some alone time with this very poetic reaper. And you're scandalized to learn that T.S. Eliot died from eating too much pussy. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's start a fire. Tape, where you going? Not like a campfire. Well, obviously to my uh, lovely Dahlia. I claim the moth, and I'm sorry. No. You happen upon I'll Calculus and Dahlia. Alone. You can sit with the other two. No. It was scrapbook laughing, uh, graciously. 
Oh, hell yeah. Rocks. This is a great picture of this cow. Coliseum in the Forum were so cool to see in person. I love the Romans. So many training facilities, ancient armor, literal centuries of bloodlust soaked in the soil. I couldn't stop fangirling. Success achieved. Truly fascinating, but I say, seeing the Elevity headquarters in person was a highlight of my Italy experience. Why is this robot buff? Why the fuck not? He, he was buff previously, if it's, I remember. It's 1.1 version 1.1. He got an upgrade. It was 1.1 and they gave him fucking pecs? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. He's I'm also pretty sure he was like, like a box. Clothing. Yeah, he was pretty boxy. Like his organs were sticking his, out. His arms are also much better built. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Tape. Well, look at our scrapbook. We're just reminiscing about that trip to Italy we took last month. You get Damn, the impression it was a joint project. Them. Some of them are decorated with bone fragments and motivational glitter stickers. Clearly typed up and printed straight out of Microsoft hmm. Excel. Respect. Amazing time. It's fascinated by the churches and even more by the beautiful, meaningless rituals organics perform there. Very nice. I had to sit those places out. The Pope didn't really like keen on letting someone with horns into the Vatican. Bonissimo. That's cool. She come here to Gondol in Venice, and then they had oh, a yeah. naval battle that she totally crushed. <laughs> <laughs> he gets down like he can't go back. That is a fair statement. Britain for our next trip. Let's keep the Ruthless War Machine Empire's theme going. <laughs> oh, but he wants to go to Japan. Also have an uncle there who works at Nintendo as a copy machine. Respect. Tate, you can come too. Uh, and it, My uncle works at Express. Nintendo. Okay. But He's a copy machine. Uh, well, what role will she fulfill? Oh. You make an excellent point. The true master of war knows that every member amongst the ranks must be absolutely necessary. In after comparison, we see Tape on our previous trip reacted as the perfect trip planner and our activities in color-coded spreadsheets. Cat potato! Did you say cat potato? I think it was cappuccino, but I don't... I turn off the sound voices that have nothing to do with the actual messaging. Um... Anyway, she went around screaming, look, it's the David, look, it's the Afuzi. To maintain the hype, make sure that everyone knew what they were looking at. Besides Horny One and Gamer, what role could you fulfill <laughs> on a vacation with Dahlia and Calculester? Oh. <laughs> they targeted gamers. Is someone knocking at my door? No, okay. Why is this one hard? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um... You can be the backup memory. Calculus's memory could be overridden, and Dahlia puts herself in danger so often the memory loss is a very real possibility. Or you can analyze all the country's weaknesses to ensure you can defeat it in the Battle of Tourism. Okay. Everybody knows that Battle in Tourism is obviously the case. <laughs> Fuck you, Tourism. <laughs> you just got hired, Tape. Hell yeah. I regret not doing more research into their weakness sooner. Make their pizza and pasta. Clearly inferior to the Olive Garden. <laughs> Excuse me. And their wimpy parliamentary republic. What happened to Caesar? Did he die? That's not very heroic. Each of the surprisingly <laughs> squishy skulls. I thought the Roman residents would have retained some of their ancestors' strength. But apparently oh. not. Italian skulls are not resistant to an attack from a morning star. Weird. <laughs> and police arrested her because they were afraid of finding more weaknesses. This. And where I mean... is Calculester? In the Vatican, I think. I you use that time to check out some old dungeons. Not because you were temporarily imprisoned. Details don't matter. Only I'd known Italy's weaknesses profile sooner. Bring more morning stars. Let's get down to business! Thanks, Tape. To defeat the Huns. The Huns. <laughs> I Very hope we don't interrupt any conversation. I'm gonna figure out what this Mothman is. No. Go fuck the Mothman. Oh my god. My Jesse moth added man. the Mothman to the Monster Palm. What a fucking <laughs> mad lad. <laughs> you do engage in idle chit chat with me? Mm. How's your health? The weather's been temperature. The weather has been temperature. I heard the politics have been mediocre lately and I have many complex opinions. I mm. live for the gossip. Okay. By the way, we can get to the part where we exchange hot, steamy, world rocking gossip. Moss didn't need to make it sound like the intro to a porno but sure you're always down for a quick or a gossip quickie by the campfire just strike with my gossip skills 
Don't. What do you? Uh, what? What is strike with gossip skills? Don't. Come on. I, I don't already know what don't it have does. my person. Don't. Brett, I'm sorry we're competing. I don't wow. know what this does. Kick me while I'm down, I see. <laughs> okay, wait, actually, let's look at the stats. Let's look at the stats <laughs> no, here. don't. Don't look at the stats. <laughs> That's cheating. Don't look That's at the stats. Uh, you can clearly look at the stats. You can hover over it. I don't Use see it on tape. He has the highest number. Uh, I think you have the better <laughs> average, though, Ben. No. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, haven't, I haven't slighted no, any okay, of y'all. Oh, I don't you know what this does. Do. I, I, I'm striking some with gossip skills, Jacob. I don't know. Do what it on means. Brett. Do it on Brett. He's your, he's that your. Means like main you're making competition. them worse. They're gonna be, yeah, they're, they're gonna be, be like, like oh, this guy's a fucking asshole. But what if you get found out, Cole? That you're a fucking bitch. Huh? Choose yourself, coward. <laughs> 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 oh, that's also an option. Well, what uh, if you make yourself uh, better if you choose yourself, Cole? I what really doubt gossip? it. You, you, don't, really doubt you don't know it. what gossip even does, because gossip is a positive and a negative. It's striking oh, something with gossip skills. You know what? Let's make a guinea pig out of tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone already okay. said thick earlier, and thick. she's thick. on fire, thick. so she's not moist. She's fucking she's, thick as hell. She's dude. thick as hell, huh? <laughs> Wait, is this a man? Molecular. I mean, technically, I'm a. Thick. <laughs> this the is power of God. a mad lib you're doing right now. <laughs> she does have the power of God in front of me. Yeah, she does. She's a hamster who's a origami knife with the common cold. Dude, the power of God in anime on her side. Type something bigger than a seagull. My cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Cool, after this round, can I restart my computer? It's starting oh, to slow to down. Ass. Sweet, sweet gossip. What did you write? I just write tape. I accidentally, instead of nice. hit apostrophe, hit enter. You know what's bigger than, than a seagull? <laughs> tape. It's tape. <laughs> Hell, yeah, technically it's true. I was like, no way! Did you hear that tape was in a gang? Who so is that? Is I don't know. Is that the Lich? They called themselves the Thick Croc. That might be Larry the Lich. Oh, this guy, God, tape was the leader. Thick Mike the Werecroctal. Uh, At a CD bar, bar, bar on the outskirts of town. Saw tape saw Thick Mike's gang tattoo of a seagull eating a tape and started asking Mike all about the gang. Hell yeah. Thick Could Mike wasn't imagine? just going to let tape join on the spot. However, there are apparently some pretty rigorous challenges. Mind blowing. Tape had the pride. <laughs> Steal two blood. gallons of blood. And even dry hump a red light. <laughs> oh, I can already do that. Fight Thick Mike himself and using only the power of God in anime. This man went to a bar and then saw someone with a <laughs> tattoo of him being eaten and was like, holy shit. It's my soul animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> she realized that she was too badass for that crowd. She's a taped seagull shit. tattoo. Now you know what it's for. Weird, huh? Oh, you. Miss, where are you? Booty stick? That was a positive thing. Oh, Hell yeah. Thing. Thanks, you just boosted my phone. Oh, to you like can't eight. sit alone, Ben. Do I want to sit alone? But the witch girl kind of cute, though. Yeah, she I'm already of going in. for someone. I'll Fine. sit alone. Also, which girl isn't a possible? You yeah, she is in this one. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ooh. Uh oh! Damn! Look at you gambling on your love life like there's no tomorrow. That all depends on your friends. Will someone save your ass or will you? Alone? We will see. Sweet. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you can sit alone, and someone will sit with you. That's funny. Yay. Two people can choose the same thing. But doing it at the end, it won't. Do yeah. I lose stuff? Is it a big deal after all? Well, it was for you. Except the dread fills your soul, makes you question your choices in life. <laughs> yeah. God bless you. So intensely, no, it was stupid. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you did. Oh, that bad. Okay, good to know for the future. Cole, before we start next, uh, well, after this. <laughs> oh wait, there's like. Actual mini games now, I guess. Okay. But okay. We're all sharing, well, we... So we can't. <clears throat> I'll and what, Ben? 
after this, I need to restart my computer. It's starting to lag and sounds buggy. Okay, because you're recording. Yeah, sure. Take a gamble. Wait. What? <laughs> welcome, welcome. You new here? All right, let me explain how this works. I will prepare you a drink. The drink of the... What? Ah, cat barking. You may choose to drink that one, but if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a the second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be mysterious. And these drinks, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. A wizard in training. <laughs> for you to test my concoctions is somewhere between kind and reckless. So get ready and good luck. Brad. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh. Box because at this point, who knows what you drink? Do you want the Cosmopolitan or the box? The box, the box. No, I'm taking the Cosmopolitan. Coward. I'm testing awesome. your common sense. You passed your prizes, the drink you chose. Take <coughs> the imagination shot. What's going on in here? The box. We're hanging out. Doing your mom. Relaxing. Damn. I'll take the imagination shots. Choice. Testing your common sense. You passed your prizes, the drink you chose. Ski you ask. What I mean, it? the mystery box. mystery box. That's a cute cat. Mystery box. Mystery box. The box. It has anything. Mystery box. It could be a ski mask in the box. I, 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 the box. I, I take <laughs> take them. Take, take the box. Mask. Take the box. Ski mask in a martini drink. Take, wait, box. what if you need the ski the mask box. for a quest? But the box. The, the, box. Well, the box obviously has a gun. Jacob, in it even a ski mask. I know. Toilet. Yeah. <laughs> hey. no, no refunds. Was that a good item? Margarita. Hey, give me. Yeah, well, you're. Right. Give me that yeah. brain. But well, what about the mystery box? Big brain. Yeah. Big brain. Testing your common sense. You passed. Prize is the drink you chose. Oh shit! There's a cosmic hey, drink. Yeah, hey, that was uh, Brad's cosmopolitan. Uh, I get it. Mind, it's pure creative. <laughs> the small unicorn is just decorative, but if you eat it, eat it if you feel like it. Put it on my tab. Oh, give you creativity. Holy fuck! Then margarita. Give me back stuff, please. Absorbent smarts. Thank you. Time to go. There you go. Toilet wine. Toilet wine. Minus. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a massive buzz. How would have the ski mask been better? They would have gave him bolts. Guaranteed. Think about all the things you can do with the scheme. What did the Cosmopolitan do? Rob a bank. Doubled one of your um, stats. A, I'm about to say, any buffs you get from here on out get doubled. Oh, that's pretty pong. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. really good. Really good. Well, I mean, it, it's good, but also I bad. I don't see I get why negative. getting toilet wine hurts me if I don't drink it. <clears throat> or did Scarlet. I Chartreuse. I'm pretty sure you drank it. Chartreuse, Scarlet. Um. Gray. Now oh, that was boring. Cyan. <clears throat> Chartreuse. Oh, it's like a gross orange. I thought Cyan Chartreuse was a cool. green or green. It is a green. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if their house is like <clears throat> only scarlet, then that's that's boring. The better one looked that bad though. Scarlet doesn't look all good on gray, all so Scarlet Chartreuse, Chartreuse is a green. <clears throat> yeah, Chartreuse yeah. is gross. Um, what were the other two? Uh, Scarlet. Cyan. Cyan. Okay. <clears throat> Richard. Oh, Chartreuse I'm... one. I'm him. Um, if you go to your boss's house, so Rick's house, and everything is oh, one color, <clears throat> which is the worst? Gray, Chartreuse, um, <clears throat> Scarlet, Cyan. or Cyan? Chartreuse for sure. Hold on, I'll leave this up to the RNG gods because I have it tied down to two. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Oh, it's heads. It's Chartreuse. Uh, All right. There was like following order. 
Well, no, I got it down to the two. But say after Which is that, Chartreuse and Cyan. Cyan, so that's Brett. And then what's worse, Scarlet or Gray? <clears throat> well, I'm a fan of Gray, so I, it would be cheating. And if I saw a bunch of Scarlet, I'd be asking some questions about why my boss is so bougie, so Scarlet. Okay, I'm last. I'm getting fucked. All right, boys. I apologize. I can't handle it any no, longer. Good. I need to restart. <laughs> Oh. Uh...